when it comes to spicing up a room's aura and appearance, the very thing that can do just that are scented candles. Romance, elegance and drama are only some of the things that can bring a room to life. And to add to that effect, a hint of something sweet and soothing can define it even more. Thus, many are driven to making scented candles. Making scented candles does not really involve that much hard work only that, the candle maker must be creative enough to use his or her imagination to good use. The candle making scent being used by most candles makers are fragrance oils that are readily available in craft stores whether online or at the nearest local outlet. Making scented candles is more fun especially to persons who need that moment of relaxation by the end of the day. The most preferred candle making scent is the fragrance oils instead of the water or alcohol based perfumes because their composition is closer to that of the wax. In making scented candles, you need to keep in mind that the compatibility of the mixtures matter such as that of water and oil that do not go well together. What makes candle making more enticing is that the candle making scent can still fill a room even when the candle is not lit. Scented candles are a wonderful present to give to friends and significant others on any occasion. Their meaning grows even more when you do the scented candles yourself. Scented candle making is quite easy and it is more or less similar to that of making regular candles. But first, you need to consider the wax that you are utilizing for your scented candle making. There are two types of wax, natural and paraffin. Both of these waxes can be utilized in scented candle making. If you are planning to make gel candles though, you need to keep in mind the amount of fragrance that you are adding into your mixture considering the amount of density that is at stake. The higher the density, the greater the amount of fragrance it can hold. The steps are quite easy. All you need to do is melt the wax and pour it into a candle mold of your choice. In order to melt the wax, you need a double boiler. The wax should be placed on the smaller pot and dipped under the larger pot that has water in it. Use a thermometer to adequately measure the temperature which should be about 170-180 degrees. After which, the wick can be added to the mold and the wax can be removed from the heat. The 6% fragranced oil can now be added into the wax. Do not overdo it or else you will disrupt the liquid's concentration. There are so many things you can experiment with candle making such as adding liquid dyes to add color and other little ornaments that can make your candle stand.